G'day guys, uh, what are we looking at here? First race it's going, so the, the, the rail goes out today, three metres from yesterday. They've still got, I think they've upgraded from an eight. I've got a nine on my screen, but I'm pretty sure it's an eight. Times yesterday was three and a half. Obviously the track's nice and shifty. They're moving away from the inside. I think the end is a bit of a pineapple when it comes to what the actual track conditions are, but I don't think we're looking for wet trackers by any means, just going through the horses that sort of ran well yesterday. None of them were, you know, horses that um, in need wet tracks and, and a lot of the horses that ran well handle, don't handle wet tracks uh, that well. So I think we're talking about a, rate, uh, a surface that's maybe somewhere, um, you know, in the four to five range, but um, I think, you know, it, more importantly is the pattern and I think it's going to be up on speed again. They're moving the rail out three. I don't think anyone's really identified yesterday that that track was quite on pace. You really needed to be up there and in the last race of the day even showed that the sort of first four in the run ran top four with a, a big price winner. So, um, you know, just off speed with covers, probably absolutely ideal getting to the middle of the track, but I'm not going to be against any leaders that look like they're going to get control. I'm probably going to be a little bit savage on horses that are going to be back in wide um, and, and making long runs. But um, that's why I'm sort of only putting the first four out now is just to make sure that that pattern remains the same. A little bit of rain, I think it's only a millimetre and a half since yesterday, but um, always worried a little bit when you get funny tracks that they, they try and mix things up in between, but hopefully they haven't had a chance to do that. Anyway, race one, uh, probably the best of the first four, or actually race one and race four are the best of the four, first four races we'll look at. Um, really like this horse, the Dramatist. Thought its run last start was absolutely astronomical, really. They, they went very slow there. It was nearly impossible to make ground wide. This horse ran the third fastest last 800, fastest six, third, second fastest last four, and fastest 200 of the day, completely against the pattern. The horse is flying. Needs to be ridden that way. Certainly a horse that, you know, appreciates a good tempo. Should get that here, um, but is one of these horses that's probably going to be back and wide. So wary of taking short odds, but um, certainly the horse to hold out. And if you can run on, it, it'll probably just win. Um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty strong horse going very well. So it's not a horse I want to take on um, at all. And if, if we're getting better odds, I'd probably be happy to play against the drift. Well, so against the, uh, the price, um, but we, we're not at this stage. I thought the horse that could improve significantly is Jousting, just looks to get a, a much softer time of it on speed. Thought its run first up was far better than the margin suggested, and even through the line, he was um, quite good there. I, I remember doing the review, I sort of mentioned that, that I thought his run was pretty good to battle on. The other horse that, that looks to get on speed and has the nice setup is Hockahe. I think it'll sort of settle in the first four or five. Coming back off that mile run where it was very good and only nine days ago, I can only see it running very well here and think it's you know pretty well priced in the mid-teens. I think that's um, well and truly value. I think jousting sort of 25 to 1 is, is the other value. I think those two up on speed are the ones I'd, I'd probably want to be playing. And as I said, on the, I think in the sheets I've, I've written that the dramatist certainly you want to throw it in. Uh, exotics, uh, Sun Blue probably rolls forward from out there. I thought, it, you know, the one that's it's hard in the market that may be worth taking on just... Mixing its distances a bit. Went okay the other day up the inside and, and certainly went okay at Tamworth. But um, at Tamworth, it was jumping in distance, but the dramatist absolutely handled it there. It just, um, you know, it had the perfect run, sung blue, and, and dramatist had everything against it. And it sort of crushed it down the outside and ran away from it. So it's very hard to see it turning the tables for mine, even with a, a, a pattern against it. The knockout horses uh, that, that are sort of drawn low there in Ken Contributor and Daksha could sneak through and, and run well. I'd be throwing them in exotics too for placings. Majestic Wings got a little bit against it from and has to sort of overcome the pattern similar to the Dramatist and I think it's probably all over at the Dramatist so it's hard to see it probably winning the race without a lot of favours and I think that's pretty much the race. There, there is one scary horse here in Zadig. Uh, who gets the blinkers and lucky bit on and, and 20 days off. A, a nice enough run there at Wagga in a, in a pretty strong race for the country. So I can see it improving from a dangerous stable. Uh, the Dramatist is certainly the one to beat. I think Sun Blue is probably a little bit short and, and as I said, uh, Jousting and Hocker he, uh, good value in the first. Uh, the next two races are pretty average, so I won't spend too much time on them. Uh, Love the Invasion certainly finds itself uh, off a good first up win, jumps in distance. Uh, plus 250 metres and only second up. That's a bit of a query. Always liked the horse. Always thought it was, you know, well and truly up to Saturday grade. 
um, gets its chance to prove it here, but he's probably one run short of, of ideal. The other horse in the race that's in this very similar situation is Outlook. Very good run first up, very average ride, I th thought, and um, and can improve. What, where they ride it is interesting, probably drawn a little bit sticky. It has gone forward in the past, or whether, the, you know, just with that only one run under the belt, they may be a little bit conservative today. Not sure. And Charity Spirits, the other horse, 35 days between runs. It's actually coming back in trip off, a, off an Oaks run. Whether they're using this as just a, a blowout run and then sending up to Brisbane or something like that is, is the problem. Uh, no trial in between. If it had a little clean out trial, I'd probably be keener. To me, it's just a query field race. Uh, the horses like a cheer, a real piece of going well enough to win. Need a bit of luck in running for sure. Uh, Chira looks like it's better horse ridden stone cold. Um, last start ridden that way was, was a very solid effort, but if it's ridden that way again, he probably faces a big task. Just a bit of an ugly race where nothing's really set up ideally uh, and maps well to, to just be dominant. So uh, a very query field race and I don't like it. Race three, uh, I think the start's very important. So if Bonnie Ezra presses and gets in the first four, I think it'll go very close. If it doesn't, and Arabellini and Mission Phoenix sort of pair off with, with Kabosh, or whatever you want to call it, Kabush, Kabosh, uh, sitting right behind them, they'll all run well. They're all set up well enough to run well. Mission Phoenix is coming off that 850 day break and working itself into fitness. Kabosh, whatever it's called, is, is, is nearly ready to peak third up, but still jumping, probably needs one more. Arabellini, you know, hard fit. Looks like it gets the front, no weight. It's the obvious one for me of the on paces. I think um, it, and, it and Body Ezra are probably the two I think are, are most obvious. And uh, Wallace Horse with the cold sitting a turn of foot is a little bit dangerous too, just camping right behind them. But uh, another race I'm not that keen about. I don't think we'll learn much about the patterns either. The the two-year-old Phillies race, I, I think, is all about in secret. Uh, drawn that inside gate, how close it can sit, whether it can get to the outside or it's forced back to the inside, how bad the inside is. These are all queries that in secret's going to have to face. If, it, um, if it's all you know fair and, and gets to anywhere near the right part, I'd think it would be just about winning. Um, but... You know, big field of two-year-olds, many queries, and we're not getting a huge price. Two to one, just a little bit scary. Uh, Lunar Rocks does look the obvious query. Uh, very solid win there at Warwick Farm, but uh, that was the way, uh, that, like the pattern was in its favour there for sure. Um, certainly will head forward again here, you would imagine, and, and not a huge... Um, confidence in that race for me coming into this race i think it's sort of three scratchings into it i just i don't know I, I'm, I'm a little bit wary of, of of that form and i'm a little bit wary of the amount of pressure it's going to cop up on speed here i probably want to just find someone that's going to be camped in behind and again that looks like in secret um sweet mercy's a horse that is on the up but again coming out of a, a race where it's sort of everything fell its way um yeah, I, I really struggled to find a clear danger to In Secret, and I probably settled on Lady Harlem being it. Uh, first up off, it had two trials January, February, little let up, and one trial since. Hit the line nicely there. Uh, the time, you know, like the last sections of, of that trial were pretty average, but it did run good time compared to, to others on the day. I know I'm sort of being picky, trying to pick sectionals out of a, a trial heap, but I'm just trying to see whether it is possibly ready to go fresh. It, it's the horse that draws the nice gate, camps in behind and could be explosive. I thought it was probably the other one within secret. They're both going to need a little bit of luck and, and get to the right part as they're going to be sitting off the speed here, but I expect them to go pretty hard. Uh, as you can tell, that, that race is a bit, of a, a bit of a nightmare, but I sort of did narrow it down to those two as the, as the main run on horses um, that look to have a lot of upside. So uh, I'll come back pretty soon. I'll, I'll probably only watch the first and come out with the rest of the races because, um, you know, the, the, the back half of the card is where all the quality is. Uh, but race one and race four look playable. Uh, just a matter of the odds you're going to get here. I think in secret Lady Harlem in race four. And as you said, the, the favourite, very hard to beat the Dramatist in the first, but really good value, I think, in Jousting and Hocker, he who should get good runs and maybe that pattern won't be identified um, and, and you could still get a bit of value there. Come back soon, cheers.